Well, the legality of abortions remain unclear as the court prepares to hear arguments from both sides this morning. NBC Local 33, Zach Labe joins us live from the 19th JDC with the breakdown of the case. Good morning, Zach. Hey, good morning, Courtney and Reggie. Well, a judge is expected to give us an update on whether or not that temporary restraining order will remain in effect, allowing abortion clinics within Louisiana to continue operating or if that ban will go back into effect. So when the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade back in June, that triggered laws in Louisiana banning abortions without exceptions for victims of rape or incest immediately. State abortion clinics are suing the attorney general, claiming that the law is too vague, making it difficult to know exactly what rules are in effect. So far, this case has seen two restraining orders blocking the law and a move from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. NAG Jeff Landry vowed to fight the judge's ruling last week, tweeting, quote, the rule of the law must be followed and I will not rest until it is, end quote. The AG's office plans to argue that the state's ban is constitutional and should no longer be blocked. We're going to continuously try to urge the Supreme Court to take this particular matter up. It's ridiculous that now we have like a traveling legal circus. Now, unfortunately, to go from New Orleans to Baton Rouge when the court could have just taken this up. And people on both sides of the issue believe that this will have to play out in the state Supreme Court. Landry tweeting a warning saying that anyone performing abortions right now will be held accountable if the courts rule in favor of this ban. Now the court opens up in just a few hours, so we will be sure to bring you any updates on that case as it becomes available on our evening newscast and on our website and free Bureau Proud app. But for now, reporting live downtown, Zach Labe, NBC Local 33 News.